Hello and welcome everyone! Yeah, time to eat. Um, yeah, I finished uh, a build I was working on for a couple of days now. And to get there, I need to explain it a bit, because it's not as simple as it seems. When you visit my island, you will land here. What you want to do... want to go in this menu, and then port to the first buggy buggy. There will be something waiting. Uh, because I build a bit, as you can see. And this is a blueprint template for all the rooms in Dragon Quest Builders 2. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it was a bit of planning, because I only have like an area of 62 by 62. And yeah, I need to explain a bit. So, there are different themes in this build. Oh. <laughs> uh, as you can see, this one will be the four field one, like with many wood blocks and stuff, and also those bathrooms. And this one will be the Crumbledon, like with the showers and swimming pools and pubs and stuff. This one will be the Moonbrook one all the castle theme ones and war and other things as well. And this one is Malhalla themed. But there's also one missing room. Uh, but we'll get to that. And then we have some special rooms up here, which is like a bit more kid friendly, a bit more luxurious and a bit of a museum kind of style. As you can see, some doors are missing. I will leave that this way on purpose, because when you put this blueprint down and it gets finished, not all the rooms will be recognized, because there is a room limit of 100. And uh, wait, uh, I don't know how many rooms I have now, I think 100? Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4... Okay, I just counted. Uh, here are 101 rooms. Uh, I also excluded all the ones you already learned during the story and most of the ones I did in my... Uh, whoop, wait, I don't want to have a cat face. Or do I? <laughs> <laughs> and almost all I did in the room combinations video. Uh, I only did like the farm ones with the paddock and stuff. And yeah, when you do this build... Um, Wait, let's go into the rooms. There will be some rooms in here, unless you have to fill them up, but they will be grayed out. And those still need to be built on the Isle of Awakening, otherwise they don't count towards the golds and stuff. As you can see at the top right, 100%. And also, this blueprint includes, I hope, all sets. There will be also some uh, DLC ones, like the fish tank. Uh, but those will be in another build. Like all the DLC room recipes and sets will be in another one. Um, those three, you just have to pick up one and put down for it to count. I think it works when you visit another island. I don't know, because it's not part of the blueprint. I didn't have space for it. <laughs> yeah, and also, um, there will be some rooms. I know you, you probably have built the first room in the game, where Lulu wanted a bedroom, like uh, three beds and a light source. When you pick it up, the room will change after some time. Now it's a basic bedroom, and then you will just put it down, back again, and so you have like two rooms in one. Uh, there are some rooms that work this way, like also this one. This is from uh, the flower field one. And but you will notice it. This the dormitory. There you also pick one up. Uh, the shower room you pick one up. The basic pub. There you just pick one up, like. Uh, one of those dart, uh, just any anything. Oh wait, I don't have a door. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Um, yeah, all is uh, themed. Here you have the kitchens, 
Here you have the pubs, here you have the changing rooms, the workstations, and the like relaxing stuff and shops. Here we have the kids' rooms, all the outside rooms, of course. And here's also a special one. Um, you can't place down a bomb without it exploding. So, that's why I uh, camouflaged a magnet block. So you just place down a magnetic block, and camouflage it, and then it looks like a bomb. Otherwise, you <laughs> won't be able to put it down. And in your blueprint, it will also just look like a regular magnetic block. So here you want to place the bomb uh, when you have a door for it to make the uh, doomed, the doomed room, I believe, which is like the the 101st room, so a special room. So, um, oh, what are you doing here? Like some treasure? Come on, let me talk to you. Ah, thank you. 100 gratitude, wow. And then over here is also a special room, like this one. I show you what you must do when you put it down. You just place down a door so it gets recognized. Ah, come on, come on. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know why it doesn't work. I think. This one is a special room because it's a combination of two rooms. So you want to remove the books and the curtains so it works. <laughs> as you have just seen, uh, this one is a bit odd. As you can see now the room is destroyed because I have two rooms inside one. <sighs> it's a very, very odd one. And here we have all the museums. There you also just put a nice door in like the one with glass or something like that. I know uh, all the all the rooms have their their doors that have their purpose. So here it is this one. It's important. So it fits the look of all the rooms. <laughs> yeah, and I also included many sets like this slime stack, this dracky stack and the station. Oh, it's getting dark. But where can I sleep? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and then there will also be this one. Uh, the three course meal. And of course uh, this one, the medication station. Other sets are already included in some of those rooms. Like this one. The buffet. Yeah, if there are some rooms you don't want to copy, you can just destroy them. Because when you visit someone else's island, you can do whatever you want. This is only for you, so it won't be saved for the one who shared it or anything. And the next time you visit it, it will be the same as before. So, for example, let's say, ah, I already have the three-course meal. Then you just destroy it and you won't have it in your build. So you don't need to make this, this food items in your build. Then, uh, here you just take those fence gates, like those. And when you want to copy, and now we come to the important part. When you want to copy this build, there will be two corners marked. And be careful, watch your step. Uh, the saber cat already fell down. You just mark this spot. And then you run all the way across. Way like a maze. Ah, there you are again. And then you just put it down here. Also, you can't go any further. This is the maximum of a blueprint. 62 by 62. The maximum height is 100. And then you just draw it. And here you can see what it looks like. So here are all the big trees, the very huge ones included, but now all the pools and the ground and everything else will be missing. So I would recommend to make two blueprints out of it. So you just destroy this one, step on it, mark this, and 
here, as you can see, one step further and the blueprint disappears. That's the maximum. And then you just mark it over here. Now you will have the floor, but the trees won't be in, uh, in this blueprint. So it's, uh, yeah, you need to do two, and then just place them down. But I will make it right now. Uh, the orientation should be this. Oh, 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 oh. lag, lag, lag. <laughs> oh my god. One frame per hour. Ah, ah, better. So now we make the second one. Let's fill that hole again. Now mark it too. And now we have the trees, but without the ground. We just confirm, rotate it, like that the outside areas are on top. And again, leg, 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 leg. <laughs> It's too much for the game. All the particle effects. Ah, there you are. Come on. Ah, I will get you. I will get you. Ah, thank you. And then, when you want to put this blueprint down, let's go somewhere else. So we are finished with this right here. Oh no, wait. I forgot something. There is something still to consider. Uh, I don't have the throne of the Dragon Lord. So you need to replace Hagen's throne with the one of the Dragon Lord, then this one will also count. Those you'll get from this monkey bed looking uh, mini boss from uh, Laguna Perfuma, and he will drop it like 10 to 20 percent of the time. We'll also take a look at the notice board and I'll tell you how you can visit someone else's island because this question still comes up very frequently. You should just uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I tell you now. Always, while you're somewhere, there will always be little prompts at the bottom of the screen. What you can do with all the buttons. And there's also a menu. Yeah, I know. I, it's a bit hidden. <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> and there you have this. View this. And use the snapshots. Like let's take someone top, like this one. Red Nato. Ah, very good. I didn't know that it was yours. Ah. Now we view all the snapshots he uploaded. Ah, very pretty. Nice one, Red Netto. Yeah, and there you can see them. And you can also search for an uploader's ID. So mine is right there at the bottom. Also, all the other IDs, uh, all the other IDs, uh, one, <laughs> I got one more for the Japanese version. And this you will find in the latest videos I uploaded. They will be in the description, like the English one and the Japanese one. The description, you know, there's just a little, a little arrow pointing down. There you click on it and it will open up right beneath the video. So, let's see who that guy is. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All the things I uploaded, oh my god. Oh my god! Hmm. 100... <laughs> 110,000 likes. Views or likes? I think likes. Ah, also 50,000 almost. Okay. Oh, I also need to share the uh, baps and my picture. But we'll come to that later. Now we want to lay down the blueprint. So the first one is with the floor included, so you just will <laughs> a big one. So you just want to put it down somewhere where you could, where you have space. Ah, oh, what are those things up there? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we'll see in a different video. So this is the floor. Let's say you want to include it just somewhere where you have a floor, and then you dig down, and you will always be two blocks away from where you put it down. So then just lay it out, wait a bit for it to be recognized, oh, come on, yes, and there you can see everything you need. I also considered only to use the most um, efficient blocks to use, like the ones which you can craft for free when you unlocked all the unlimited items from the Explorer's Shores, so it will be quite material easy on you. Like a, a few carpet pieces, a few gold bricks, 
but that's already it. The other ones are all like for free, as you can could say. Yeah, but quite some items. <laughs> Have fun farming all of those. <laughs> And if you don't have some of those, uh, just put everything in. Ah, yeah, yeah, let's explain how it works. So now you need to view the blueprints once. It's important, so it comes up. Now, when you go in your inventory, they will have a little icon above all the uh, blocks and stuff. And those are part of the blueprint. Now you want to place a chest somewhere near the blueprint. You can also put it on top, but I wouldn't recommend. I always put it on this corner piece, this yellow line. Just put it here, and then here with uh, the shoulder buttons you can switch with your inventory and your bag. And then you just put everything inside. Uh, you will need multiple chests, uh, maybe four or five, or some more. Yeah, and when this blueprint is finished, it will disappear. But if you are missing pieces and you want to put the other blueprint on top, then you go into the menu, and there you can see uh, this was the first version, how I started. Yeah, quite the same, only a bit bigger. Yeah, at the end there were some rooms uh, where I had to improvise and had to swap some stuff around so it fits <laughs> the plan. It was quite a, a bit of work. I also needed to calculate exactly the room sizes and stuff because you have 62 by 62, but you also have three main pathways in each direction. Then you have the wall strength, which you also need to consider, so I removed like six blocks from the 62 for the pathways and then also 10 blocks for the walls. So I had like a plan of uh, 46 by 46 and divided this by 100. So I had the size of the, the rooms I could build. So this is with floor, without trees, and this is without floor but with trees. So now this one we laid out. And as you can see at the bottom there, remove blueprint, zoom, rotate, take as item, erase, copy, view, info, back. Remove blueprint, just push the pause button. Now it's removed. And then you just go to the same spot, wait for it to load, just so I can better show it. And then you just want to put it on top, but be aware, two blocks away, like over here, and then you put it down. So it will be exactly on top. You'll also notice it um, right when you lay it down that the percentage will be up. When it's zero, you know it's on the <laughs> on the wrong spot, or if it's somewhere between one and ten percent, then you need to remove it again and lay it out again so it's on the exact right spot. Oh, I love these plants. Hmm. Maybe this will be my screenshot. No, I want the... <laughs> but wait! <laughs> this looks nice. And now we remove it again. Also, when you want to go into bird's eye view, I already told it in the room combination video, uh, when you press once, the minus button or the touchpad button on the PlayStation, you go into the menu of the blueprint. But when you hold it, you go into bird's eye view, the top-down view. So, now we remove it again. Also, as you can see, when you haven't laid it out, there won't be an option to remove it. And now you have it again in your bag. Yeah, and that's the way you do it. Let's go back to, <laughs> to the build. Yeah, and uh, if something shouldn't be working, just ask me in the comments. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. But yeah, when you finish this blueprint uh, and lay down the, the doors of each room, like uh, I would go like this. Place down some doors, and when you hit the limit, well, we can do it right now. Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, it's very, very slow. But I think we'll hit the limit pretty soon. And here you can see uh, I ran out of space and made like the smallest possible rooms. There are like two by two. There, 
room limit reached. It will be only for a short amount of time. But this will tell you that you've reached 100 different rooms. And when this happens, you need to destroy some doors. So some of those rooms get destroyed again. And then you just place down the doors at different rooms. Do you like treasure so much? Having a goose line? Yes, I'm having a goose line. You also need to wait for it to get destroyed when you have so many rooms. Yeah, as you can see, it takes like oh, half a minute or more. And that's why I was so confused over here. I didn't recognize it. And yeah, I think that's it. If you still have questions, just ask. And yeah, I hope you visit this build very soon. Oh wait, I also need to sh uh, share it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, I will share it pretty soon when the weather is a bit nicer. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tour and uh, you will enjoy this blueprint. And if you like it, please also like this video. Uh, it would mean very much for me. Because a like for this video will recommend this video to many other people as well. That's why I'm always asking for likes. That's why any YouTuber asks for likes. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So I hope you have a great day, morning or evening, or a good night. And I'll see you guys very soon. So, bye! Yay. This is for all the people who stumble upon this build who did not watch this video. It's a bit of a self-advertisement, yeah, I, I know. <laughs>